Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry we haven't been uh, posting in a couple weeks, but this holiday schedule has been killing us. So basically we're here today and we're going to show you that uh, what you can expect to get out of your car, cigarette lighter, car charger, to uh, the Blue Eddy. If you decide to go that route and see how many watts you can put into any Blue Eddy, I guess, at this point. But what do you think? What's your guess, Brian? don't know but like I said I'm just excited about it for the aspect of being able to tap your EV and turn it into a big old power source for your Blue Eddy or whatever you know uh, electrical generator that you're using solar generator I guess you should say but yeah okay that aspect pretty darn interesting all right now there were some comments already and most people are pretty certain and we are too that it's gonna be right at about a hundred so that's what most cigarette 100 lighters 100 watts huh. yeah most cigarette lighters are putting about putting out about 100 watts so we're guessing it's gonna be right there but again it'd be a slow charge but it can be done worst case scenario you would have a lot of backup whether it's in a battery or a gas engine you, you've got some charge going on at different points so all right let's get to it again the way that uh, the blue eddy set up is uh, they give you this uh, I get it's, it's called an aviation cord it's pretty heavy duty it's basically like one of those um, uh, quick disconnect things here and then it attaches to the Anderson portion which uh, they give you and then it goes down to the cigarette lighter. So we'll just plug this in to the cigarette lighter and see how it goes. All right, as you can see, we got it plugged in there into the vehicle. We're gonna run it out. Now the interesting thing about this uh, Anderson, or I'm sorry, this aviation connector is there's a little red dot at the very top of it. And the reason that's there is because it actually matches up to the little red dot on the uh, input for the uh, Blue Eddy. I'll show you here. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but it is actually right there. Little red dot. So you just match them up, plug it in, and you're pretty much good to go. So you just plug it in, make sure it's secure. And then you have to come over to the panel, go into your settings, make sure that the DC input source is from the car. If you're using solar panels, you would put it over there, but for the car, it actually says right there. And then you can go back and give it a sec and see if uh, you're going to get any uh, watts out of the vehicle. And this thing will actually show you what watts you're taking into the generator, correct? Yes. Right there it goes to try to get some of the glare out of there. It's pushing about 102 watts. So yes, if you now you're getting some power into this thing if it was low, so 102 watts per hour, so it would take a long time to charge this thing if it was empty, but you would be able to do it. Yeah, but the thing that to me is interesting about this is that, you know, even at 102 watts, if you were using this to run like a refrigerator or like one of the portable air conditioners, it's only going to exceed that 102 watts while the compressor's running. When the fan's running, it's going to be lower than that, so you're going to have a net gain. You know, yeah, that's true. If the fan's only pulling 50 or, you know, 70 yeah, 20, watts, yeah, 25 watts or 25, you're right. Yeah, the, you're always going to have a net gain. So, again, in theory anyway, if you're plugged into this with your, you know, portable air conditioner or, you know, refrigeration unit, you know, you're going to be basically tapping your EV battery or your vehicle as a charging mechanism. Looks like it's gone up to 103 and I think it's gonna be pretty steady right there. So, again, so you can get, uh, like everyone thought, probably right at about 100 and, you know, a little over watts out of it. So, 
And again, this would be the same principle with uh, a gas or a diesel engine, and we'll show you right now uh, what it was like with the uh, with the truck. All right, you can see from the uh, cigarette lighter, basically you're getting about 103 from this outlet in the truck. But I think uh, we found an interesting thing. If you swap out to possibly a different outlet, I think uh, we saw that it charged a little more. Here, we'll show you. Sorry about the glare. We're just... I don't know if you guys can see that, but now this cigarette lighter or the uh, 12 volt outlet, the other one in the truck, it's at a steady 109. So you get a few more watts depending on what uh, which one you're you're using, which is kind of interesting. But at any rate, uh, I think just like what you've seen earlier, everything's right at about 100 to 110. Again, guys, we uh, we have it charging still. It is uh, now, so it fluctuates between 102 and 103 watts. And what we're decided to do is kind of show you that uh, it is passive charging. Basically, uh, while you're charging it, you can also use whatever appliance. And we thought we'd bring out this little dryer. Now, this is a 1500 watt. Yeah, it's a 1500 watt draw Ooh. switch. It's pretty close. That thing's rated for 1700. Well, it's actually 2000, but that's in rush, yeah. Right. So, yeah. we'll we'll see what's going on if uh this thing just cranks it over or if uh we end up uh kicking this thing off for a second. And again, when you go to use this uh for an appliance, you would definitely just uh go to the settings and turn on the 120 right there. All right, it is at the 120. Oh, now let me show you there. Go back and then on your main screen here, just make sure if you're gonna plug something in, you turn on your AC outlets. Yep, turn it on and it should be ready to go, Brian. So we got some rags in there just to show you. Good gravy. So it is uh, powering it up. Working like a champ. Well, there you go. If you're going out boondocking, which uh, you know I'm all about the camping. Woo! That thing is pulling us uh, 1,513, fluctuating right at about 1,500 watts of usage. While again, while it's charging at 101. So yes, you're using a whole bunch of power right now, but you are still taking some in as well. So. But so if you were using solar and you had all of uh, the 700 watts going in, that'd be half your intake. So that would definitely help prolong the life um, of the battery. That is crazy, though. What yeah, do you that, think, Brian? Yeah, that's really amazing. That uh, I mean, granted, it's you know a compact dryer that's specifically made for like dorm rooms or you know camping or you know that type of application, and you know it operates off of 115 volt. But yeah, that's amazing to me that you can go out boondocking and like if you go swimming or whatever, you have a way to, well, yeah, I guess in theory you can actually do your laundry, but uh, you know, I don't know a lot of people actually go out to boondock and do their laundry, but you know, it would give you an uh, way to do it, you know. Again, it seems to be handling uh, the dryer pretty good. Uh, the wattage actually went down. It's down to 1320. And again, still uh, well, taking in. It's at 87%. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, you know, turn it off. And I want to see, because I'm expecting that, that some of that will you know, rebound uh, rather quickly. And again, in an application where, you know, if you were running a air conditioner or refrigeration unit, you're going to have, you know, peaks that hit like that. Um, when the compressor cycles on. I don't think it's going to be that high, but still, 
uh, you're gonna be running a compressor and so you're gonna have those spikes but because now you're plugged into the vehicle it's just gonna extend the duration of that battery you know right as you can see longer. yep it's still charging while uh, this is all going on so yeah if whatever appliance is just off and this is just plugged in yep it just continuously will feed it uh, that hundred watts slowly but surely so and what do you get off of the um, when you're plugged into the 115 volt outlet to charge that do you recollect I know this one has a much larger brick than yeah it, it's close to 450 uh, so if you uh, plug it using the brick uh, AC charger that uh, you plug into the wall what do you recollect what it was on the first blue Eddie I want to say it was a about the I think first it was about one, 100 watts. Yeah, it was a little over, I, I, yeah. maybe 150, close to 200. Yeah. So, yeah, this uh, second Blue Eddy, the AC 200, is definitely uh, much faster in charging, much stronger all the way around. Yeah, because you, know? you know the other uh, unit, you know, it wouldn't even start that portable air conditioner. The larger of the two, right? And it would. There was no way in hell it would ever start this. Right. As well as uh, I think uh, on the last video we put two air conditioners. It ran actually, actually both air conditioners. Right. Yeah. You know, with that. So, yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, just so that you know that you can use an appliance and at the same time put a charge to it. And whether it's from your vehicle, electric, uh, gas powered, or solar that you can charge it and use it all at the same time. All right, Brian, anything else? No, I'm just, uh, you know, super stoked. I mean, I, the only way I think, the only thing I could think of would be, you know, that Blue Eddy could, um, you know, increase the applicability of these things is to be able to daisy chain, like with the small Hondas, you know, the super quiet uh, Honda generators. You can actually daisy chain them together to so like if you have a honda generator that's rated at 2000 you can daisy chain those together two of them and you get 4000 so it'd be it that'd be the only thing that i've been able to think of with these things that would increase the usability of them i mean for me that tiny little thing is uh you know surprisingly powerful yeah, it is uh, pretty impressive. And yes, there is a new one out, the AC200P, that actually has a 2,000 watt inverter and a 2,000 uh, uh, kilowatt uh, battery. I'm sorry, a 2 kilowatt battery that goes with it. So, yeah, a little more. I think 300 more watts than what this currently is. But we're still really happy with uh, this one. So, again, guys, well, there you go. It charges uh, while uh, it's uh, using uh, its uh, output as well. So, again, thanks for uh, watching the video, and we will see you guys on the next one. And the important thing to remember is it's still powerful enough to make coffee. Yes, coffee is important. Remember to say the please like, subscribe. If you know anybody that likes this stuff, pass it on. But always forget to say that stuff. There you go, guys. Pass it along. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. See you on the next one.